<laughs> there are few things in life that give me more joy than packing a bag or two and heading off by car or plane for an adventure through beautiful and unknown places. So I booked three nights at Demott Campground near the north rim of the Grand Canyon and picking up my mom, who shares my wanderlust, set off to see the grandeur of God's great earth. All right, should we go down? It's so cold. It's really beautiful. <laughs> the campgrounds within the National Park itself were booked through the end of the season, but I found this one, located in the Kaibab, National Forest, about a half hour drive from the rim, and it worked out just fine. It was a beautiful little place. A family trip over 20 years ago had taken us to the South Rim, which is a treasured memory indeed. We had such a good time. This time, we are visiting the wilder and less touristed North Rim for the first time. Our first stop was the visitor center and the Bright Angel Point path right nearby. Beautiful. That first glimpse of the canyon was breathtaking. To be so small on the edge of something so vast is truly a wondrous experience. Good shot of it. <laughs> yeah, I need to get the view of this. There are several little overlook points that jut out into the canyon. They are quite precarious looking, but you get a wonderful view from the end. <laughs> wow. Ooh, wow. Pictures can't really do it justice. You have to be there in person to experience the full magnificence of the Grand Canyon. Wait. The numbers on top are red, it's working. Okay, I didn't get it yet. Now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. There are some places that are just a narrow walkway with a drop-off on each side. 
I love those spots. They're beautiful <laughs> and amazing. Yes. <laughs> the weather was in the 60s and low 70s during the day, dropping down to the low 40s and even the high 30s overnight. It was perfect weather for hiking and walking about the canyon. And overnight we had plenty of blankets in our little green tent to keep us warm. The north and south rims are both quite different from each other, although with very similar stunning views. On the south rim, you're looking more directly into the Colorado River Gorge, but I think I prefer the north rim because it is more wild and less touristed, and I love wild places. <laughs> How I envied the birds that we saw gliding out so easily across the vastness of the canyon. What an amazing view they must have. After a morning of hiking about, we returned to our campsite to rest. I enjoyed watching the clouds float softly across the sky, and the tent was such a cozy little spot to rest in. I haven't been camping in a long time, and the sound of the zipper and the smell of the tent fabric brought back many memories from long ago. At least it feels long ago, after all the things that have happened between then and now. Arizona Trail. Oh, the Arizona Trail. Arizona Trail. Mm -hmm. Wow. 59 miles to Utah, 743 to Mexico. After a rest, we went up a dirt road near the campground to the East Rim viewpoint. And there we found a beautiful view as well as the Arizona Trail. I didn't know until then that Arizona had a trail across the state, oh, similar to our own Colorado Trail. If I hadn't been born in rambling shoes, I'd still be in Carolina, and not a million miles from home 
Where the wind is blowing mighty Eighty-six days we've been on the trail Independence seems so far behind us But by tomorrow night we'll be inside of Night in the circle, they're singing the songs of the life that we left behind us, and the songs of love, oh, wandering love, takes me back to Carolina. If I hadn't been born. I'd still be in Carolina Not lying here on the cold, cold ground With half my world behind me The next morning we went up the Cape Royal Road. It's one of the most scenic drives on the North Rim, and we were not disappointed. The views were incredible. Absolutely incredible. Point Imperial. Elevation 88 of Try for sunrise tomorrow, either here or yes. Dead Angel. Yes. But either way, it would probably take about, no, I don't know. about half an hour to drive. Get in here so it's a little more. Wow. Point Imperial is the highest point in all of the Grand Canyon. It is over 8,000 feet high. We had it all to ourselves in this early morning hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our next stop was Roosevelt Point. This one had a little bit of land jutting out into the canyon and with a small trail on it so we clambered out there eagerly forgetting our breakfast <laughs> it was such a beautiful morning and such a beautiful view again we almost had the place to ourselves. there was only one other person there it was a very cold morning but it was so worth the adventuring what a beautiful day. What a beautiful place.
ridge. Like, see, she's sitting on the ledge. <laughs> I should get that person. Ooh. Uphill. <laughs> Hi, I'm coming. Come on, Mama, you can do it. <laughs> we can do this. Then time to pause for our tailgate breakfast before traveling on to the next viewpoint. At this point, there were many beautiful flowers which we found out were called cliff roses. They smelled so sweet. There was also a pinion pine, but we couldn't find any pine nuts on it. <laughs> pinion pine. There is a rock formation at this point, which is called the Angel's Window, a little gap in the rocky outcropping. It looks pretty neat. You can go out on top of it as well, but of course, when you're on top of it, you can't see it. You can only see down into the canyon. This is what's gonna take us. Yeah. Next, we walk to the end of the path to Point Royal with a magnificent view of the canyon. After resting back at the car for a bit, we went hiking again, this time on the Ken Patrick Trail, along the canyon's edge.
On our way back to Bright Angel Point, where we were planning on catching a sunset, we stopped to explore the Kaibab Trail, which goes down to the canyon floor. We only went about a half mile down, because it descends very steeply, and while going downhill rapidly is very easy, coming back up is not, so we saved that for next time. I do think it would be fun to hike the Grand Canyon from rim to rim someday. But this was not the trip for it. Our two full days over, we went up on the last morning to see if we could see a sunrise. But it was a rainy morning and clouds were settled low in the valley. It was really beautiful in its own way. We had a cloud display instead of a sunrise. The time there went all too fast. And I'm looking forward to going back next time. Traveling is so refreshing to me. I hadn't been born in rain, but still being cast, not lying here on the cold, cold, with half my. Behind me, behind me. again. My bunny was dancing circles around when she was so happy to see me again. <laughs>